Mr. Speaker, I yield three minutes to the distinguished gentlewoman from New Mexico, uh, a member of the Rules Committee, Ms. Ledger Fernandez. Gentlelady is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are where we're at today, at the precipice of ruin, because extreme Republicans chose to hold Americans hostage by refusing to pay America's bills. Their chaos created fear and stress as Americans worried about a catastrophic recession. Extreme Republicans' ransom demand was the Default on America Act, a proposal which targeted rural communities, Head Start, veterans' health care, and more, with 22 percent and more tax cuts, more cuts all to pay for the Trump tax cuts for the wealthiest CEOs that added $2 trillion to the deficit. Rather than making the wealthiest pay their fair share, extreme Republicans wanted to balance the budget on Americans' growling, hungry stomachs. Democrats proposed amendments to the Default on America Act to protect programs like rural development and veterans' health care. Republicans rejected every amendment. So we went to our communities. We told them the truth about what the Republicans Default on America Act would do. Americans listened, and they spoke out against the Republicans' plan. When Democrats and President Biden's team went into the room to negotiate with, America, with Republicans, the voices of veterans, seniors, and working Americans went in too. Now we have H.R. 3746. The bill does save us from economic catastrophe. It rejects the most extreme and cruel proposals contained in the Republicans' Default on America Act. It allows advanced appropriations for the Indian Health Service, protects clean energy tax credits, and the health care for veterans. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. I do not support many of the changes to our environmental laws and our social safety net programs. But let's talk fiscal responsibility for a moment. President Trump increased the debt by $8 trillion. In contrast, President Biden reduced the deficit in his first two years alone by $1.7 trillion while creating 12 million jobs, bringing manufacturing back, and making the largest investments to adjust the climate crisis ever. The bill today reduces the deficit only by $1.5 trillion. If we had merely passed the president's budget, we would have decreased the deficit by $3 trillion without creating the fear and economic insecurity that extreme MAGA Republicans have forced Americans to endure. I don't want to repeat, I want to repeat this point. Let me repeat it. This crisis didn't have to happen. Everything in this bill could have been negotiated through the normal process without a debt crisis crisis. Indeed, that's how it's almost always been done, except for in 2011 when the Republicans did this before. Expired. The American Gentleman people need to tell the reserves. Republicans Gentleman no from Massachusetts more reserves. The gentleman's time's expired. Gentleman from Oklahoma.